I'm getting ready to uh, make some more sections on my uh, project. As I have stated in other videos, I only use two sections uh, to create my plans and, and sections and elevate, well, plans and elevations. I only use two views. And if I want to see something different, then I would simply move that section because I'm using a bigger screen uh, to work on. I use an ultra wide. And uh, so I have, uh, let's see here, maybe I can show it. Um, all right, this is more, I type WT to get those. Then ZA takes all of the uh, plans, the views and makes them completely visible. But um, let's see, WT, WT. I might want the uh, floor plan to be a little bit bigger here. But anyway, so if I want to see, this is, I call this FB front to back, and I call this SS side to side. So this is a front to back view. If I want to see something different, then I actually move the section line and you can see that it'll change my uh, view of, I think that is this one, it'll change my view of that. So if I come back just through here, well, interestingly, I guess it is, uh, this is my front to back and this is side to side. So this is my front to back. So, um, well, I was moving my side to side. So you can see that it changes the view. If I move this guy back a little farther, you see that that changes. And so it's more of a dynamic section. And I find that to be much more helpful for me as I'm working in my project, ZA, just to get everything there. And you can see that this is how I set it up. And if I want to see a different section through something else, I simply just move the section line. So I don't get confused about what section I want to see, and I don't have a lot of um, additional sections made. But it does become there does become a time when I when I want to see those sections, uh, more sections. What I don't do is draw another section line, which I'll show. So I'm going to draw another section line through here, and then I'm going to say, "Let's go to that view." Look at this now. Yeah. Look at all of the mess of all of this right here. Whereas if you take a look at my other sections, I've cleaned it all up. So I don't have any uh, levels on top of other levels as far as the text goes. But if I drew a new section, that would be uh, the result is all of these levels would be on top of each other. And then I have to spend time going back in and uh, changing them again. So section two, uh, this guy right here, I don't want him anymore. Uh, section two, see now this can, this scares me here because it's a section two, side to side. All right, so I'm a little confused to just to, I'm gonna go back and just have one object open, which is my section two SS, section one, FB, section two, SS. Okay, so this is the one I want to keep. Section one, this is the one I want to keep. Section two, let's see. Oh, I was looking at my sheets. That's what I was going to do. So I don't want this guy. I'm going to delete him. What I was doing was I was looking at my sheets and I wasn't seeing a section two because I was looking at the sheet names but up in the sections, I actually had it. So now I have my my two sections. And we'll pull the first floor uh, back up again. First floor. I just want to go to that first floor view. There we go. So I have my two sections. Um, I should probably pull that down a little bit. Let's see how that looks on the uh, plan. Uh, first floor plan. Well, I guess I can't pull it down anymore because it will be outside of my uh, title block. 
So let's activate the view real quick. And we'll pull this guy over just a little bit. And that's the view range or what is visible. I'll pull this guy over to here because I want all my sections to line up like that. Okay. So well, I guess we have to pull this guy down just a little bit too. Okay. So instead of, this is the purpose of the tutorial, um, instead of um, making a new section, or if I click on it and say copy, and I just copy that over, now if we go to that section and take a look at it, again, it's a mess. All of that said, I don't want that. So uh, this is FB1 now. I don't want that. I'm going to delete it. All right. So what I do instead is, let's see, how many do I want here? Well, I probably should. All right. So I want to cut through here. That would be my first section. We'll cut through that part of the house. And let's drop it down. OK, so that's my front to back. My side to side, my first side to side will be right here. Okay, so what I do instead is I duplicate. So I I have um, this is my front to back. So I can right click on top of that and say duplicate view. I do duplicate with detailing. And it puts another one um, right on top. So let's go back to the floor plan. So now I have two here. So I can take this guy and move him over to where I want my second section to be. And let's take a look at that section now. Go to view. Look at how all of my levels are clean and nice. So I don't have to go back and do that every single time. So we go back to the first floor. I can do the same thing on this one, which is SS. So now I'll just say duplicate view and I'll show the detailing in there. And there it is, all nice and clean again. So if I uh, take a look at that, you know, all of my, all of the time that I would spend to duplicate that, to, to clean that up is no longer necessary. So I go back to the floor plan. I have two here now, so I'll click on that one and just move him up to where I would want my second section to be. And now I have my second section there. I can put that on a plan. So this would be, uh, well, I don't know how many sections I'm going to have here, so I'm not going to put it on the sheet yet. But uh, because I would, this would be section one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll probably have 11 sections going in that direction. So this would actually be section 12. This would be section 13. So let's see if I have a sheet made already with section 13. Yes, I do. Okay. So I said side to side. My SS copy. And I'll put that over here. And what's the scale? Should it say right here, one eighth of an inch. I think it needs to be that because as I move back, it needs more space. But I want it to be on the same spot on the sheet. So that's where I use my view, my uh, grid guide. And I won't put the label in first. I will put the bottom of the basement slab and say, OK. So now here's my grid guide, and that's telling me where I want the bottom of the basement slab to be. And I use my uh, arrow keys on the keyboard just to nudge it down until I get it close. And then I'll zoom in because then the uh, movement will be less. So I want this is this black level is the bottom of my basement slab. You can see that it would rest on top of the footing. So I want to nudge it down just a little bit more it lines up there. Okay. That should be good. Now I'll put my other 
uh, grid guide in there. All uh, right, grid guide. I have another one called label. I say okay to that. That's where I want my label to be. So I grab my label and get this guy right where I want it to be. I want to bring this tail of that label. So I have to click on the actual view. And then I can drag, drag that over and get it pretty close. Uh, so I like I like my uh, architectural sections and plans. I like them all to be lined up. So as you toggle through uh, the house sections or, or floor plans or elevations aren't jumping up and down on the screen. And that looks pretty good to me. I'll hit the save button. And it's just a quick uh, trick that I learned um, a while back that uh, saves me a lot of time. Uh oh, look at this though. Hmm. That is an issue. So uh, I haven't probably, uh, I should have paid attention to that first. So this guy has to come all the way over, but look what's happening to my label. So that's why I always do the label second uh, after I've gotten my house uh, situated on here. So I do have it this way and these all fit in here. So I look pretty good there. This one I'm gonna delete anyway, that's unnecessary. That's just reference for me. But now I have to go back in and grab that label and pull it over to where it's supposed to be. So all of that fits in there. My SS copy one, that's what I was just looking at. SS, so we'll look at the first floor plan looks good on there. I've copied that. So now I can start copying those over. No, nope, I'm sorry, that is the wrong word. I can start duplicating those to get them uh, where they want to be uh, located. And the purpose of this quick tip is just to show that you don't have to go in and clean up your uh, additional sections if you duplicate them then they will have all of this uh, on there like they're supposed to as opposed to having all kinds of work to clean up all of your uh, sections plus the i you can see that i like my um certain w items actually this this guy and this guy would normally be black. I just want my floors in red. So right click, override graphics in view by element. And uh, we can say reset and that'll take it back to its original, which was black. And that looks pretty good. So because I didn't do that on the, now I have to go back and change that uh, on the first one because I wasn't paying attention to my setup. But anyway, that saves a lot of time. And I think it's a, uh, a worthy endeavor to have a, a little bit more consistency of where your levels are and where that you can read all of those. I think uh, it, it looks more professional. So anyway, I hope that's a tip that helps.